Hi, and welcome back to this edition of Gay Day Studios. We're here in beautiful Redondo Beach where the sun is shining and everybody feels good. Most people are at the beach, I am sure. I want to talk to you about Destination LA. Destination LA is a product we're putting together here at Gay Day Studios with my uh, good friend Azita, who is also my photographer, and she's behind the camera now. And maybe she'll come out later, but not today. Anyway, we wanted to invite you all to consider having your wedding in Los Angeles. So I'm talking to you people in Boston, in Chicago, in New York, in Columbus, in Cleveland, any of those cold, ugly cities that get just oof, unnaturally bad weather in the wintertime. Think about Los Angeles. Think about LA in February and March and April where the rates for weddings are down and the weather and the sunshine are up. So that's what I wanna to talk to you about today. And I'm just gonna go through some of the different places where you can have a wedding in Los Angeles because we do have a lot to pick from. Okay, so you've decided you're going to have your wedding in Los Angeles. So where are you going to have it? So here are the places we have to pick from that are just kind of the big uh, ideas. And then we can even chunk it down to smaller ideas. So we have beaches. We have mountains. We have cityscapes. We have three really fantastic cityscapes, really. Oh, hundreds of beaches. I don't even know why I started counting. And we have wineries. We also have a rural area out here, which is really interesting because um, this place called the San Fernando Valley, well, that used to be a valley where they grew lots of fruits and vegetables. And so out there you can find old farms and barns for that rural setting a lot of brides are really getting into right now. We also have some wonderful museum properties out here. And a museum is a fantastic place to have a wedding because all the decorating is done for you. All you have to do is bring the guests and the music and the fun. Considering different places that you can have your wedding in Los Angeles, we have mountains, Big Bear, um, and if you don't want to go all that far out, you could just go to Skirball Center and look at the beautiful mountains in the uh, Sepulveda Pass. I think those are the Santa Monica Mountains. But we also have beautiful desert scapes. Uh, about 100 miles outside of Los Angeles is Palm Springs, one of the mid-century modern capitals of the world, where if you decide to have your wedding there, you'll see lots of things like I like, like mid-century modern decorating. It's really part of what I love. There's also some beautiful old mansions out there and some gorgeous churches. So if you haven't considered the desert, you should look into it. It has a limited season because it gets very, very hot out there in the summer. But I imagine in February, it's as fabulous as Los Angeles is. I want to also talk to you about the cityscapes we have. We have three different real distinct cityscapes just here in the Los Angeles area. We have downtown LA with its beautiful big buildings, some old bank structures, a theater district, really gorgeous. We have the city of the future. We have Century City. That sits just behind 20th Century Fox Studios in the middle of the city and it is just beautiful. Uh, the Hilton Hotel there was designed by the same architect who did the Twin Towers in New York City. He's a Japanese architect and his work is very modern, very beautiful, and really exciting. And then there's Beverly Hills with all the glitz and glamour that you see on TV. That really exists, it's really there. And if you bring your wedding to Los Angeles, you could consider Beverly Hills as a place where you're gonna have it and really have yourself a beautiful, luxurious, and glamorous day. You may have seen me in the past with some wine on the table with me from the Joseph Filippi Winery in Rancho Cucamonga. I want to just mention that that is just one of the many, many wineries we have to offer you in California and in Southern California. So if it is destination LA, we have wineries as well. Why, just up the block in Malibu, we have the Malibu Family Wines, and they have a beautiful area set up for weddings and special events. Um, your wedding planner and uh, your wedding staff can help you locate great venues, help you manage uh, making the details and the, uh, working through the details and making the reservations. If you're really thinking about Destination LA, you can call us. Our contact information will be at the end of the video. And you can reach out to us that way and let us know that you need some help and you want to look into it. We can send you pictures, videos. Um, you can come on out and take a tour. We are available for all of that. But we love LA so much, we want you to come here and join us for your wedding day. And now finally, I'd like to close this segment with what am I drinking this week? Usually it's wine, this week it's not. I am going on a health kick. It's gonna take me about two weeks and then I'll probably be tired of it. And I'll be drinking some uh, protein drinks for breakfast and lunch every day. This one is called Bulletproof. 
It's designed for women. It's supposed to make us look and feel better. It's got collagen and all kinds of other great stuff in it. Next time we film, maybe I'll look even better than I do now. I just came from the hairdressers. I need to give a shout out to my hair gal, Jewel Ellis at Glamour Locks in Torrance. She takes care of me. Thanks everybody. Please come join us again next week and don't forget to leave us your comments. Click through on Facebook, like us there, like our videos. Like us, join us, follow us, and tell us what you want to hear about, and we will investigate for you. Bye now. Chanson, la vie ne vaut d'être vécue sans amour.